off to the Rico lads for the executive coach travel, which is just the X1, and you're paying an extra two pounds for it now because the club have quietly put that up in price. For tonight's leasing.com entertaining trophy, this one trophy game against Southampton under 21s. What a massive game this is going to be tonight, and it's live on my crap YouTube channel. You I mean, let's be honest, I'm not looking forward to this one at all. We've drew both our games in the competition, nil, nil. And I mean, it's St Andrews, it's not the Rico. Tonight's attendance prediction, because I know it's going to be a nil, nil tonight, and that's Southampton win. 800. 800. I've seen us play a few youth teams before. Arsenal, lost. Beat West Ham 4-2. West Brom, I think I think we beat them. Played Brighton one season as well. You mean they don't sound very entertaining games at all. And they're not. This trophy screwed. I mean it was a lot better when it was just a typical cup competition between League One and two teams. If they wanted to make a group stage, they wanted to make it a little bit more entertaining, should have just added teams from the National League that did not finish in playoff places. It would have just been simpler. Let's go, anyway. Here we are. Tonight. This is because of the competition, nothing else. It's the 5th of November 2019. We're about six hours away until Sanjay turns 19. And um, he's let me down. The day before his 19th birthday, so his birthday, yeah, he is. Always, it always seems to be a check and trade game. I think it was last year as well. He's let me down. He's not 19 forever though, is he? He's probably going collie. He's, he's barred from the collie. Yeah. He is. But yeah, it's brilliant. It's brilliant as I say. I'm here. You should see the competition. Over there, you've got the Rico Arena where no, no proper sports are being played at the moment. Seems up. Um, probably what I'd expect from a game like this, I suppose. Um, McFadden's captain, don't know why. Could have a little complaint that maybe Jordan Shipley deserves it 4,072 times more. But, you know, not going to complain. Like I said, um, a couple of young players in there, like Drisdale, Bapaga, Eccles, uh, Wilson's in net, Brandon Mason's back in the side. But, yeah. Oh. So I've had the brought a lot tonight. Yeah. Right, the atmosphere is absolutely rocking tonight. Tell so, so me this tournament does work. Liam Walsh, 26, Jordan Shipley, 33, Jermaine Castanier, 35, making his debut, Declan Drysdale, 38, Josh Eccles, and 41, Wilbur Parker. Six minutes in, that's the most entertaining thing that's happened so far. That's the closest chance. That's the first chance we've actually had. I was going to say the closest, but it's the first. Obviously, obviously there's. Good chance by Max Biamu. Comes past their skipper, comes forward, hits the ball with his right foot. Good save by the goalkeeper, corner ball. About half an hour in, nothing has happened, as I've said, and nothing probably will happen. There's some fireworks going off every like five minutes, but apart from that, that's it. Shipley's got a free kick in front of the uh, sold out away end. Quite intimidating, them lot. Well, she's took it. Uh, Still no no. 
don't know what I'm recording. I'm literally just filming everything that looks like something, but it's really nothing. The half time score here in Tyson. Entertainment. Nil nil at half time. Nothing happened. There we go, we've scored a goal, believe it or not. That's an absolute surprise. Max Diarmi was a goal from inside the box, tips on his right foot. In the top left corner, 1 0. I'm eating a pie in memory of Sanjay who, who left me today. Could have been his pie, but I don't know. It's fouled and we've got a penalty. The Amu's taken. It was a clear penalty, to be fair. First good referee decision I've seen in about two months. If, if, if you can watch this back, that was a yellow card for diving, in my opinion, and Southampton have somehow won a penalty. No, no idea how that was a penalty. Imagine Ben Wilson saves this. Absolute limbs. Absolute limbs. Look at that. <laughs> to boring football. I mean, Southampton have not at all put any pressure on us at all. Not too much. I can't see any of these ever breaking through. This probably won't um, look good on me in a few years when all of these are like top scorers when Southampton win the Premier League. But, you know, that will happen. There's 20 minutes left to go and as it stands, we're pretty much through to the next round depending on the Walsall and Forest Green result next week. I'd say it's good, but it's not, because we could potentially get the likes of Plymouth, Exeter, Gillingham, Southend, Ipswich, and then Carlisle and Morecambe and all them away. Which isn't good. Imagine if we got put in the north and we get Carlisle away on a Tuesday night. 7pm kickoff. Works. Fifteen minutes left to go and I'm cold. Don't know why football's a winter sport, but then in the summer I burn way too much and complain, so I was gonna say not gonna complain, but I already am. That was Laureus Carrius really that was. He shoots from about there. Both hands on the ball for Wilson and he just kind of lets go of it and it goes in the net. You mean, let a 2-0 lead slip to a load of 17-year-olds. Well, this is the lowest ever Coventry City home, home attendance, 375. Uh, there's also seven away supporters. Thank you to the, the seven in the corner. Yeah, that's pretty. So there's four minutes added on. So Freezing the column until we lose on penalties to Southampton in the 21s. Yeah! 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 Max Biamu hat trick. I think he's the first person to score hat trick uh, since McNulty. Speaking of second, it's freezing. Someone back on the bus. Um, I say bus because that's what it is. There's about 20 people on here. And um, I was told, win 3 2, not going to complain. Probably play my four, Carlisle in the next round. <sighs> Brilliant.